Hello and a warm welcome to the South Coast. We find ourselves today at St. Mary Stadium. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Southampton facing Manchester City. Thanks, Derek. Well, often we talk about the tactics, the individual players, players that are missing, but so often it's the mentality of the players that is key to winning any football game. Which of these teams has the right attitude today is the big question. James Ward-Prozel and number 10, Shea Adams. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, on paper, they look a very balanced team. But the three advanced midfielders must at times make runs beyond the centre forward. Otherwise, they might just lack a bit of penetration. Good luck. Cheers. Thanks. Hi. Good game. Good game. Good game. Hey, good game. Thanks. And so they start at 11 for Manchester City. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Kevin De Bruyne plays with Rodri in central midfield. And handed the task of playing up front is Erling Haaland. Thank you for attending St. Mary Stadium. Enjoy the game. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Walker. And Grealish. Holland. On to Grealish. With Mares. Holland. And back with Mares. Walker. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. He takes aim. Able to get a body in the way. De Bruyne. Ake has it. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. Well, it's always a great thrill to watch Erling Haaland in action. He can be absolutely unstoppable, and we should expect that he'll have a prominent role to play in this one, Stuart. Well, we know he's a good all-round player, but his strength is when balls are rolled into him. He can hold up the play, he can roll defenders, he can get away from them, and that's key to the way his team want to play. When they get the ball into him, that's when they're at their strongest. Crossing opportunity. De Bruyne. On to Haaland. Must be! Blocked it brilliantly. And the flag does go up. Must have been tight. Mares. De Bruyne. Oh, yes! As pure a header as you're likely to see. And he ought to be very proud of that one. Well, here's the replay. And what a well-delivered cross this is perfectly placed and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy it's a lovely goal so underway once more Manchester City with the advantage
Ward Prowse. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Doing well to keep possession. Said he could be onto something. Rodri. Holland. Superb save. Well, he should score, of course, but that's a brilliant save. Put in by De Bruyne. Oh, off the line. High-class defending right on the goal line. De Bruyne. De Bruyne now. The cross is on. And teammates around him. The supporters want to see him have a go. And it's come off the keeper. And in the end, no damage done. Holland. Counter-attacking, very much an option. Grealish. It's a perfect challenge. Erling Hall. De Bruyne. And now Rodri. Holland. And the quality of pass needs to be a bit better. Jay Adams. On the ball, Mohamed Elianusi. Well, there we have it. That brings to an end the first half here at St Mary's. Well, you might say par for the course as far as Erling Haaland was concerned in the first half. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. Using his strength to shield the ball. Ruben Dias. The ball with Rodri. Walker. Losing possession here. Now, who can he play it to? Rodri. And the counter looks on here. Options available. It looks promising. Or Prowse. Being egged on by the crowd. Putting his body on the line. Walker Peters. El Yanusi. Oh, good use of the ball. The end product just wasn't there. Grealish Holland Mares and routine for the keeper in the end across far too close to him Bella Kotchap Ward Prowse could be a chance to break here He could pick out a teammate. 
And the danger still on. Adams very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Holland 20 minutes remaining Adams El Yunusi Well, they want that equaliser, but the passing remains smooth. This is a message for Might be dangerous. Can you please remain seated? Adams. Well read to ease the pressure. Kevin De Bruyne. Erling Haaland. Gundogan. Determined block. This might be ideal for the counter. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Gundogan. Now Mares. Holland. Holland, and it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop him. Well, as you can see from the replay, it's the perfect through ball from Mares, and what a finish from Holland. It gives the keeper absolutely no chance. It's such a powerful strike. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. And so into the final five minutes. Bednarek. Ibrahima Diallo. Bela Kotchap. Read it superbly to take back possession. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Wasteful again in possession. Free kick awarded then by the referee. And there goes the final whistle. Disappointing for Southampton, whatever way you look at it. Three points dropped. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, it truly was a terrific performance by Erling Haaland, really lighting up this game. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.